Okay, well, I'm. Let me move this here, guys. Well, I'm back here. I guess I have to do this in a little bit, little, in a couple parts because it only lets me do like 14, 15 hours of a video. So, yeah, I was talking about it. I think I was talking about that Lady Pearl, but yeah. And I was talking about the Bistro. Yeah, that's, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, uh, I know I say yeah a lot. And, um, uh, get over that, everybody. I know that's a, that's a habit of mine, but, yeah. Um, don't have too much to eat here at this apartment. Uh, yeah. I know people say my vehicle that I drive is a girl's car. A PT Cruiser, a cream colored PT Cruiser, but I really don't care. I love the shit out of that vehicle. Talking about vehicles, um, has anybody seen the new Ford Mustang? The uh, new Ford Mustang that's uh, I'm trying to think of what what was it, what it was again. It was uh, the Roush inspired Ford Mustang. Kick ass. It's the only Ford I'd ever drive. If I would pick one up. Yeah. I don't know if everybody knows, but I'm I'm really into uh, the X Files. I'm into the unexplained phenomena and stuff like that. When I when I was date when I was uh, a couple years ago, probably five or six years ago or something like that. I was driving back from, I think it was Bell Plain, and up there, close to where the railroad tracks are, when you get closer to the road to go back into, uh, I think, Mulvane. I was, I was going down the road, and on my right, out of the corner of my eye, I saw, like, three yellow lights up, up in the sky and it was following me and I stopped and I pulled over to the side and I looked up and then as I blinked it shot off to the left and then uh, about a couple years ago I was out in South Carolina for, th for four months and this was in October down on Dorchester Road they have, have a, a base military base. I can't remember what the name of the military base is there. But I was going down the road. I turned, I think, you turn right to go to the base or you turn left to go down another road. I turned left and went down the road. Well, about probably 10, 20 miles down the road, even if that, probably about 5 to 10 miles down the road, about that. Little thing scurried across the road in front of my, uh, headlights of my PT Cruiser. Well, all I heard, I, I, it, it went across the road in front of me, and all I heard was, I was like, oh shit, I rolled up my, hurry and rolled up my windows, locked my doors, flipped a bitch, went back to my apartment, locked the doors, and stayed inside for a while, but before before that thing went in front of my PT Cruiser, I saw in my rearview mirror, I saw a, uh, a yellow, like, light up and over to the, uh, military base, and I was thinking, what the hell? And, and after I saw that, I looked in front of me, and that's when the thing just darted across in front of me. Well, next day, during the light, in the light, I was, like, thinking, hey, maybe before I go back, I'll see something that I didn't see. I went back that same day, in the same spot. And the tree line, where that thing went in front of me, it's like, I don't know if uh, the it wasn't like, the tree wasn't cut, and it wasn't burnt, or, it, yeah, it wasn't like, looked like it, there'd been like, a fire in it, because a singed fire would look different than how this was. It looked like it had been burnt, but it looked like it had been, like, cut with like a laser. Because it was singed, but it was a straight cut. So, I don't know. And I was thinking, okay, cool. I'll come back 
I'll come back later that night. And as I, when I came back, all I heard was that noise again. The so I don't know if what I saw was like a different color of an alien, because there's gray aliens, green aliens, and then there's bluish aliens, blue looking aliens. I don't know if that's the same thing as a gray alien or whatnot, but I don't know. Well, another thing that I had that was strange to me in my lifetime is that I guess uh, when I was working, like my, I think it was my second job that I had, it was working in Denver at the Brahms when it pretty much just opened up. I was helping one night cleaning up the back there where the uh, drive through is. One, one of the uh, windows opened up like the first one. And I don't know if it was just the window opening up. If it's like if the sensor is really sensitive for it to open up or whatnot, but I looked at anything, so I went to the other one and it opened up as well, and I didn't see anything there. So I went around the corner to where to where the drive-through goes around the corner, and I didn't see anything. So I don't know if if uh, I saw if it was like a shadow person or whatnot. I don't know if I'm... Some people might think I'm crazy, but I don't know. And then I was working at Dylan's. This was back when I was working in the Chinese kitchen. Like, at night, I was the person that washed all the dishes. Well, uh... Sorry for this. But, yeah. I was washing dishes, and, like, the little Chinese dude, Mui, was pushing the cart of veggies back to the... the walking cooler and I saw like a cloaked figure that was following him and when he came back out to go back up front the the cloaked figure was following him well after that he goes on vacation I think he went to like New York or somewhere I'm not too sure I think that's where it was but a couple days after he went on vacation, we got a call saying that he had a mild stroke or a heart attack or whatnot. So I'm taking that as that cloak figure might have been, I don't know, I would say, I don't know how, how you guys are going to take this if, I'm, if you think that I'm playing Blade Comics crazy, but I, I think it was the Grim Reaper. Say what you want. Say that I'm crazy. That's what I've seen in my lifetime. One more thing. Living at my parents' house on close to 47th Street. One night, my brother saw some flashes outside. Big flashes. Well, I saw some lights and, and it dart off into the sun, into the night and disappear. I don't know if all this time I my drapes on me because I wear glasses or if it's my subconscious telling me something or if I'm just if people, I, I don't think I'm crazier than loon because there's this show on uh, on the coast, coast people have called in about some of this stuff so I don't think I'm crazy I don't know if it's my eyes playing tricks on me or if it's my brain playing tricks on me. I don't know. But, yeah. I want to get back into this comedy thing. I'm starting to read this book called The Comedy the Comic Comedy Bible. It's supposed to help me with putting together comedy and being able to make better stand-up material and stuff but what's funny about it is the main thing it tells you don't steal other people's material and I started thinking yeah that well that is true because what if since I put it on YouTube what if some big-time comedies me said and then they'd, they'd think hey they stole my stuff I said that at one time 
this dude's saying what I'm said, what I said, then I'd get X'd out and I wouldn't do comedy ever again. So, for any of you out there that, that's trying to get into this comedy thing, don't steal anybody's material because you'll get blacklisted. So, and then, and then it said, one of the funny things that the Comedy Bible tool said was, look, look at yourself in the mirror. I don't know if this is funny or whatnot, but I did that. I was looking at myself, and I thought, hey, you know what? I always make fun of homeless people and the way that they dress and the way that they look. But you know what? I was looking at myself in the mirror, and I always make fun of people, like homeless people like that. And I started looking at myself down, like, well, my face isn't bad looking, but you know what? My fucking teeth look like the people, look like the homeless people. Look at this shit, everybody. No! <laughs> I have some pretty fucked up teeth, don't I? Yeah! Fucked up, yellow looking teeth. See? You could you could scrape my teeth, and you could get some fucking butter off my teeth. Ooh, you could butter your bread with my teeth. Ah, uh, butter bread with my teeth. Ha 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 ha! That's how funny I am. Well, I don't know if this would be cool, but I was thinking about, uh, or if it would be funny. I was thinking about getting a helmet and getting people to and some pads. Some like elbow pads and knee pads, and getting people to put me. In. I was gonna get in cart like shopping carts, get people to push me. I don't know if I'd get broken bones or whatnot, but I think that would be kind of funny just to see me doing video of that shit, just to doing some jackass type shit during the summer. Well, um, yeah. I want to I want to really get back into this, and after I'm done reading this comedy bible, I think I'll be up to par, and I'll try and get at least five good jokes like everybody's been trying to tell me. I have some good jokes, I just don't know how to tell them. And I think that's true too. I just don't know how to form the jokes to where, because I, cause I get to the punchline and pfft, there it goes. So, yeah, there's a lot of shit in this apartment. I look around here everywhere. Two TVs, which is funny. My friend Matt's TV, he lost his remote, and we have the same type of TV. So if you turn, try and turn on Matt's TV, it'll turn my, t my little TV on too. I wouldn't say it's little, but it's smaller than his. It's really irritating. My phone keeps on going off. Okay, um, yeah, I don't think it's going to go off anymore, I don't think, but that just kind of gets annoying, just buzz, 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 but, yeah, I uh, think I'm about to end it here, I think, think my shows are only going to be about a good 30 minutes long, in two parts, if anybody thinks I should do them longer and talk about more stuff, whatnot, then I will, but, it's about getting to the end of my 30 minutes. It's about 14, almost 14 minutes here. I have about another minute left to go. But I really don't have too much to talk about anymore. Ha! <laughs> Thought I'd be crazy there. Well, I'm rich, bitch. Deuces.